Hi there. Now before we tackle part D of this question, just as a reminder, we were given this function f, which had a domain going from minus 2 to 6, and is linear from minus 2, 10 to 2, 0, and from 2, 0 to 6, 4. And we were also given this function g of x, which was 4 plus 3x, all divided by 5 minus x. And in part c, we're asked to find the inverse of g of x. And we found out that it was 5x minus 4, all divided by 3 plus x. Now for part d, we've got to solve the equation gf of x equals 16 for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll go slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, to solve this equation, gf of x equals 16, the first thing I need to do is get rid of the g. And I do that by introducing the inverse of g. I'm going to combine this with what we've got, g f of x. But if I put this on the left hand side of g f of x, I've got to put it on the left hand side of the 16. So we've got the inverse of g acting on 16. Now the reason for doing this is that when you combine an inverse with its function, whether it's this way round or if it had even been g, g to the minus 1, you always basically get what is called the identity. In other words, it just cancels itself out. So what we end up with is f of x then equals the inverse of g when we let x equal 16. And so we've got what the inverse of g of x is. It's here. So if we just substitute 16 then in for x here, what we get is 5 times 16 minus the 4, all divided by 3 plus 16. And work this out, and you end up with 4. So we've got basically then that f of x equals 4. So it's just a question then of finding the x value that gives us 4. And one of those values is this one here, 6. When x equals 6, we get 4. I know that because we're told that the function f goes through the point with coordinate 6, 4. So that's telling me then that x equals 6. But there's another value that x can be. It's this one here. We get 4 when we substitute this value into f of x. question is, what is it? And to get this value, it's very easy. All I've got to do is look at this triangle here and compare it, say, with this triangle up here, going from 0 to 5, from 0 to 2 across the bottom here, and from 5 back down to the 2 there. OK? These two triangles are similar. And what is the ratio of their lengths? Well, when I compare the two vertical sides, I can see that this length is 4 units compared to this length, which is 5 units. So the ratio is 4 to 5. This length is 4 fifths this length. So similarly, this length here in the red triangle must be 4 fifths this length. But I only want this distance across here, so that must be 1 fifth of this length. And that length is 2 units. So this value of x here is going to be 1 fifth, I'll just put or, x equals 1 fifth of the 2 units across there. And 1 fifth of 2 is 2 fifths, or 0 0.4. So in summary then, we've got two solutions, and those solutions are x equals 6, or x equals 
two fifths. All right.